Hey guys, it's Stuart from Twisted Core here, and today I'm going to be releasing a little part of a project that I've been working on for a client. The part that I'm going to be releasing here is this blur on scroll effect you can see on the background. So here's the finished product here, the part that you'll be downloading, with the images included of course. It's simply as you scroll, the background changes to a blurry picture. It makes it easier for content reading on top of it. Now this project's actually incredibly simple on the code side, um, we'll just go to the HTML for a start. Um, all it is, is a simple div here, and this div blur image. Um, now it's got two divs inside it, and those are addressed in the CSS code, and the configurable options here are, you set the two background images in these style tags here. You can obviously include these in the CSS if you give each of these divs to separate IDs. So the first one, the background.jpg, is the one that you see when the web page loads. And the second one, bgblur2, is what you see when you scroll down, and that's the one that fades in. And then in the CSS, we have the three, only three tags needed here. We have one on the blur image overarching div, we have one on the blur image referring to the divs inside it, and we have the dot blur class, which is a specific div inside blur image. Now the blur class, is applied to the is applied to the second image, and that means that it's invisible when the page loads, and then that is controlled by the JavaScript by how much it fades in. And for the JavaScript, all you need to do simply is have this bit of code in, which will be in the project files. And the thing you can configure here is how fast it how fast it fades in is by configuring this value up or down to change how fast it goes in. And all that does is it gets the position of your browser, how far you scroll down, divided by 500, and it sets that to be the value of the opacity. And you can scroll down and you can see there, it's quite a fast fade for this website. Now this obviously isn't limited to just blurring images. If you have two separate images that are obviously the same image, you can achieve this effect quite easily with things like black and white fading to color. That's a very interesting idea that you can use on a lot of websites. I've seen it um, used quite often. It's a very nice effect when you have a black and white header image and it fades to color for the rest of the content or obviously the reverse is also possible. So that's it actually for a walk through the code. You can download this project in the description for free off Twisted Core's website. Um, leave a like if you enjoyed this project and you're gonna be using it on your site. Feel free to use it wherever you like and subscribe if you wanna see more freebies like this from Twisted Core.